Dogs here, everything's good. Mm -hmm. And then put your beer down. <laughs> <laughs> and then three, two, one, go. Hello, everybody. Hello. I'm Tane. Hello. So I'm going to be talking about my uh, speech. Um, should the media promote more suitable age-appropriate images in advertising? As you can see, this is what Victoria's Secrets promotes sexy young girls in sexy lingerie. So this is what we're going to talk about. <laughs> um, in today's society, there seems to be a substantial emphasis put on body image. Advertising, social media, television, and magazines are filled with images of flawless ideologies of perfection. It's common practice to airbrush photos using heavy filtering and computer-generated imaging to achieve the perfect image. Television and magazines are brimming with advertisements of women and young girls who are tall, thin, and have perfect, flawless skin and hair. Or young men who have impeccable muscular physiques and perfectly coiffed hair. Advertisers are using sexuality to sell all types of products to the masses that they cannot live without. Victoria's Secret's catalogs is, line, is lined with extremely sexy young girls who are beautiful and flawless, wearing only seductive lingerie. It's difficult to distinguish if Victoria's Secret is selling sexuality or undergarments. With this type of sex appeal being portrayed in a catalog, what kind of message does this send to our young teens and women? Some adolescent girls who are already plagued with, <laughs> with negative body image could conceivably view these types of images and begin having thoughts of self-doubt and insecurities. Negative thoughts about body image could lead to body dysmorphic disorders, or even worse, case scenario, suicide. The teen health and media indicated in a 90, 19, 1996 study that the amount of time an adolescent watches soap operas, movies, and music video videos is associated with their degree of body dissatis dissatisfaction and desire to be thin. One study reported that at eight, by age 13, 53% of American girls are unhappy with their bodies. <coughs> um, with the amount of teens who are dissatisfied, the media should promote more suitable age-appropriate images and advertisement to provide positive body images to young girls and decrease body dysmorphic disorder behaviors, and also to reduce suicide rates among teens. The ideal body size for women has increasingly become thinner since the early 1900s. And currently, women and girls in advertising are usually tall and slender. Um, the Media Smarts Canada Center for Digital and Media Literacy states that there has been a progression towards thinner and thinner models in ads and magazines. 20 years ago, the average model weighed 8% less than the average woman, but today's models weigh 23% less. <clears throat> when impressionable adolescent teens are overloaded with these types of images, it can weigh heavy on their self-esteem. This type of imaging can influence their own thoughts and they should look that they should look like these perfectly airbrushed models and when they can't and when they make these types of comparisons they become depressed in recent years there have been some efforts in magazine industry in the magazine industry to buck the trend for several years quebec quebec magazines have consistently included full size models <coughs> in their magazines and chatelaine has pledged not to touch up photos and not to include models younger than the age of 25. This is a step in the positive direction to help alleviate self-esteem and body image issues for teens. And Miranda Herbert Ferrara indicated in her article on body image that pos positive body image is linked to an awareness that appearance is one part of a person's identity or character and to a mature sense of what really matters and what does not in evaluating an individual. Sometimes a negative body image has a cataclysmic effect on a person's life and it can consume them to the extent of obsession. 
This obsessive behavior is known as body dysmorphic disorder, or BDD. BDD is defined by the American Psychiatric Dis Association in its Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders as a condition marked by excessive preoccupation with an imaginary or minor defect in a facial feature or a body part. And those who suffer lose valuable time with regards to their social lives, their careers suffer, and personal relationships suffer because of the amount of time they waste obsessing over imagined deformities or defects. According to Dr. Lynette Small, BDD is a mental condition that affects approximately 1% of the population and exists in both men and women, and it's usually oh. underdiagnosed. And it can coexist with other, other mental conditions such as depression, substance abuse, eating disorders, and a variety of anxiety disorders. People who suffer from BDD can use positive techniques to help combat the effects of this disorder by limiting their time viewing magazines and television because these could be potential triggers for their compulsion. They can also receive clinical treatment for their mental health from a mental health professional who can prescribe medications to also help combat the effects of the disorder. Also limiting time in front of the mirror could also help keep the obsessive episodes at bay. Advertisers could also help combat this disorder if they would promote more, un, more realistic images in their advertising. The majority, of look, <clears throat> the majority do not look like the images that they are portraying. If they did this, perhaps people could relate better and have more positive body images about themselves and get back to living fulfilled lives void of compulsions. Many people agree that some things need to be done to combat the negative effects that advertising has on teen self-esteem and body images. Where there is a high rate of depression caused by negative body image issues or low self-esteem, sometimes they cannot cope, so the end result is suicide. Lead author and researcher of the CDC, Denise Eaton, reported that suicidal impulses and attempts are much more common in teenagers who think they are too fat or too thin, regardless of how much they actually weigh. And a study found that suicide ideation was more likely even among students whose perceptions of body image deviated only slightly from their ideal weights. Advertisers could be proactive in promoting positive images instead of using unrealistic images in their ads. Many would agree that the thought of using sex to sell products is bankrupt. If advertisers would promote more thought-provoking advertising or humorous <laughs> ads, this would provide effect on teens' money. <laughs> 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 Focus, oh, and I hear her see this in the corner of my eye. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't see it going on. I'm, 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 I'